how to customize Shopify origin theme. So hi guys, in today's video, I will be showing you a step-by-step -step process on how to um, customize your Shopify store using the origin theme. So let's get started. First, you need to open your browser and sign into your Shopify account. Once you're routed to your homepage, in the left panel under sales channel, go to your online store and there under that we can see our theme section right there now the next thing that we're going to do is to simply scroll down here we just need to go to the popular free themes and visit the theme store by clicking this one all right basically when you click on the theme store um, icon it will route you to a different th tab and here we actually can see the different themes that we can use to edit our Shopify page. Now we also have a search button to make it easier. I will just search origin and there we can click on the, that specific theme that we're looking for. Now let's try to see how the origin theme looks like basically. All right. Now, here you can actually see an example of the origin theme. So it's very product centered, and you can actually see a lot of things like reviews and whatnot in the homepage of the origin theme section. So this is very compacted, but a good way to compact all the information in one homepage, basically. And this is how it looks like when you have your mobile device it's very easy to navigate all right now going back let's try our theme section and let's get to the process of how to edit and the parts that you need to know basically when editing your theme here in shopify so here it will route us to our online store theme section once again and then once origin will um, load we just need to simply click on the customize icon right here let's just wait for a while okay now let's click on the customize icon since origin page has loaded already okay now we just need to reload the page since it's encountering some problems right here. And basically, it will route you to this page where you can edit your origin theme. So the first thing that we have right here is that we can have our sections. So here, we can actually edit the homepage, the header, the template and whatnot so if you click on the header you can see custom css if you do know how to code then it would be very helpful for you to customize your page you could also add announcement and whatnot here under your announcement bar here in the template section you can actually also edit the heading so for example instead of hand crafted products i will just input moonstar which is the name of my store you could also edit the size of your font now you can also add a block right here you just need to click on these things right here and under featured products you can also make the um, heading size smaller medium and whatnot depending on your choice so you could also edit these sections like the price, the description, the buttons, and everything else. All right. So here in our image banner, you can also select an image that you would like to use for this section. And here for the footer, you can add a section right there. All right. Now... The next thing that you have right here is our theme settings. So under theme settings, you can actually edit the logo, the colors, typography, the layout buttons, and whatnot. Basically, it will help you make your um, Shopify origin theme more colorful and creative, basically, depending on your style or what kind of um, style you would want to give out in your Shopify app store. So there. All right. So if you want to change the color, you just need to take a look um, which 
kind of button or if you want to change the background then you can go to the color section and change the background you can also add like your social media pages in the theme section you just need to paste your social media links in this section right here and then it will basically be um, added onto your shopify app page now you could also um, enable the search behavior as well now the last thing that we have right here in this panel is our app embeds so if for example you have added an app to your shopify store or in the shopify um, store then you can actually enable that one by simply clicking on this buttons right here all right so if you want to check out the pages of your um, origin theme then you can simply click on like for the products page for example there that's our default product page now if you want to go to your collection settings then you could also go to the default collection settings just click on the drop down and simply go to the page that you would want to go to all right okay so the next thing that we can have or we can navigate in our theme section editor is that we have in the upper right hand corner a um computer icon right here so if you click on that one and you see mobile this is how your shopify store would look like in the mobile or if you're using a cell phone basically and if you click on full screen basically that's how it looks like when you are in a full screen mode now in this ellipses button beside the origin um, draft you can actually edit codes by clicking on edit code right here so you just need to go to this section in order for you to um, make your website more colorful and more interesting especially if you do have the knowledge about codes so for example let me show you the code system here for our origin theme section mm -hmm. so let's go to password.liquid and these are the codes that we have in our origin theme section right there if you do want to make it more colorful or if you want to add some more items on your you know shopify store then you can simply paste your codes right there now here is you also have edit default theme content you can also preview it so if you click on preview basically this is how your shopify store would look like if you want to make use of the origin theme all right and then let's go to the next part um now you could also view the documentation when you click on this one basically um it will route you to a article that would help you you know give you tips on how to make your origin theme more beautiful and whatnot or give you an idea next is our get support section so if you do encounter any problems in editing your um shopify theme origin then you can actually go to the shopify help center and ask for their help you just need to follow the steps right there okay now Let's try to edit one of the pages here in our origin theme section. Let's go to our desktop mode first. Okay, so we have right here our checkout page. So here we can click on sections. Basically, if you click on sections, it will ask you to go to the theme settings. So let's go to theme settings and then scroll down, click on checkout in this um page you can actually select a banner or a photo for your banner so let's try to take a look at this picture and put it in our banner section all right so basically it will look like this one however if you opt not to um, have a banner since it doesn't look good on my shopify checkout page i'm gonna simply click on this one again and delete or change it Okay, I'm going to click on change and remove the image. All right. Now, the next thing is that you can also add your logo. So, for example, I'm going to select an image. And there you have it. Okay, so my logo has been added. You can actually reposition it to the position you would want to. Whether left, center, or in the right corner. So, I would 
have this one right here. Okay, now here for our main content area, I'm just going to have a background color right here. So I'm going to choose a shade of yellow, for instance. Okay, if I have this shade of yellow, then I just need to drag it or drag the color according to the color of my choice. Alright, so for the form fields, you could also check or, um, you know, input your color of choice. Now here for the background color, I'm going to have blue for this one. Um, again, you just need to drag the color to your desired choice of color and there you have it so for the typography basically it's the font style of your um, shopify checkout page so here in the settings if i click on another one then it will change so there you have it next we can also choose the color for the accents but i'm good with this one already so now let's click on save in the upper right hand corner and if we want to use this one then we can simply publish it and this will be our um shopify theme for our store basically now it will route us to this theme page under online store again and we can actually try to view our online store all right there you have it now let's try to see in the checkout page whether or not our changes has been added so let's go to our checkout okay let's click on the checkout button right here and then there you have it as you can see um all the changes has been added and that's about it for today's video guys hope you find this video helpful and thank you so much for watching